Sunrise at CSX's Tilford Yard in Atlanta, Georgia. It's Sunday, May 8th, 2022, and things are pretty quiet here, but this is usually an active place. To our west, Amazon is building a new warehouse. And to the east, CSX has constructed a new transflow facility. Of course, the yard here used to be much bigger and busier. But we're not here to reminisce. There's a rare train stopping at Tilford today. P001 is the company's office car special, or OCS. My understanding is that it's headed back to Jacksonville, Florida, after the Kentucky Derby. You might already know this, but CSX's headquarters is down in Jacksonville. Now, I got to this location around 7 a.m. and only had to wait about an hour. Sure enough, in the distance, there were CSX's X Amtrak engines snaking around the curves of the old Western and Atlantic mainline. The WNA put Atlanta on the map in the early 1800s. Through the years, this right-of-way has been used by a few different railroads and is still active today. The CSX OCS looks sharp, and its paint scheme is inspired by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. Of course, the BNO is one of the many railroads that would eventually make up CSX. It really makes you wonder, is this what a modern-day Capital Limited passenger train would look like? And man, that early morning light makes it look even better. It's interesting that they leave the red marker lights on even when the train is going forward. I would say these locomotives are the closest things we have to CSX heritage units, at least for now. Here's the train pulling into Pine Street for a crew change. So now is probably a good time to take a look at the train itself. Office car specials like this one have an interesting purpose, entertaining clients and VIPs and also allowing executives to get a first-hand look at the railroad. Today, the CSX OCS has three locomotives and 12 coaches. The engines CSX 1, 2, and 3 are X Amtrak EMD F40 PH-2s. Many of the cars behind those are named for executives who led CSX and the companies that came before it. Several of the coaches are older heavyweight observation cars. We'll get a closer look at those in a minute. Now, one of the coolest cars here is probably the W. Thomas Rice. Rice was a very successful railroad executive and played an important role in the merger of Seaboard Coastline Industries with the Chessie system, which formed CSX. The yard in Waycross, Georgia is also named after him. This car has theater-style seating that faces this giant window that looks out on the tracks. As you can see, it's also got plenty of lighting. Anyway, this was probably the fastest crew change I've ever seen. They were only stopped for around five minutes before P001 was pack on the move. They weren't going that fast, so I was able to chase them to this bridge about two miles southeast of Tilford. Here's the entire train rolling south. One more car that's worth noting is the E. Hunter Harrison. 
He was the man who pioneered precision scheduled railroading and was one of CSX's CEOs. So that's the CSX office car special, but before we end this video, let's go back in time and look at two vintage Baltimore and Ohio photos. Here are two BNOE units leaving Cincinnati, leading the National Limited in April of 1963. And here's a BNO Pullman Standard coach in August of 1969. After looking at those photos, what do you think? Did CSX nail the BNO paint scheme or not? Let me know what you think in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.